school. Mm -hmm. Once we see the student, he is okay and he can do everything, then it's safe to take him into the sea and we will do the dives into the sea. Mm -hmm. And then later on, he has to do some final exams, written exams, something mm -hmm. like that, just to wrap up all the courses and be sure that he, he is good. And just to know that he has the knowledge, yeah, the, yes. the basic knowledge he and or the basic she. skills. Yeah. Here or they, she, yeah. yeah. Here okay. or she, yes. Uh -huh. So it's, it's a matter that of one should be coming from the two ladies then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, I think it just, uh, it's just an easier it's way to another way. I'm just <laughs> kidding around a little bit here. But now, uh, safety precautions. Yes. Yeah, but that's very important, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Uh, safety, uh, it's very important. Uh, uh -huh. We always give advice to the students. Uh, safety regarding the equipment, even while they are staying at the boat with us, mm -hmm. and even if we went into the water, if I'm with the student and still we have some our safety procedures, I'll tell them before we uh, we jump into the water. Mm -hmm. So safety is important. Safety is number one. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we will be all happy because we had applied everything. Mm -hmm. And the buddy system is a very important it's thing. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Not uh, to ever go out just alone anywhere diving. No, no, you cannot because you you might get entitled uh, down in the water with the the uh, threads of the fishing or the nets mm -hmm. and it will be really difficult to get out to get out by mm -hmm. yourself unless you get some help. Mm -hmm. Hey, but what are we taking a look at there? Yeah. This is a starfish. Okay. This is starfish. This is all pictures from Kuwait, right? From Kuwait, okay. yeah. Okay. And uh, actually, I took it that one uh, last year, and uh, it's my first time to see a starfish in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last year, but it's very rare. Mm -hmm. uh, so even starfish, they didn't. Uh, this is the uh, paracudas, mm -hmm. mm. and they are famous with their sharp teeth. So we don't want to go swimming there, huh? Uh, no, they are very friendly. If you can well see, I'm, I'm very new I've to them. Mm -hmm. So, okay. <laughs> so they are sometimes very friendly. they can bite, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this one here? Uh, this is, uh, you can see, the, see it in the bottom of the uh, The bottom of the sea, there, of the huh? sea yeah. Uh, the, the, the nice thing about it, it's color like similar to the sand. Yes. Yeah. It's a camouf like a camouflage fish? Camouflage mm -hmm. fish, yeah. So this is another big it's really big starfish. We mm -hmm. saw it, okay. and uh, unfortunately, some of the people once they see it, they will take it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I always tell my students that uh, it's nice to see it, to and admire it, yeah. and take, take a, a photo, photo and, leave and then it. leave it because next year we might see two, three uh, starfish. Exactly. Yes. Now, Hiba, you, you touched up on a very important uh, issue, which is what we do when we dive. Now, I'm not a diver, but I, I have snorkeled and, yes. uh, you know, and you see amazing things while you're snorkeling. Yes. Uh, and one thing is when our guide, when we're, we're always in a group and with a guide, of course, but they tell you, do not touch the coral reef. Yes. This is, this is, it's, it's, it's an unwritten rule. Do not touch it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there was even once a broken piece of coral. It was broken and it was there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I asked the, the, uh, the guide, I told him, I'm like, you know, can I just pick it up? He's like, no. No. I'm like, it's broken, it's there. He's like, no, you do not take it. Yes. So he's yes. like, you can go to jail for this. I was like, oh my God, it's that serious. He's like, yes, it's very, very serious. Uh, you're not supposed to touch uh, the reefs. He's like, not just because we're trying to protect them, uh, because I also believe that there are some reefs that are very dangerous as well for you to touch. Yeah, like the fire, fire reef, exactly. uh, fire coral mm -hmm. that will burn you up exactly. once you touch it. But uh, we don't have it here in Kuwait. In Kuwait, okay. Fire. Uh, unfortunately, here we don't have a rule in Kuwait. What you were saying, it's outside Kuwait. Mm -hmm. But uh, for me, in my center, that we are applying this rule. Okay. Do not touch the reef. Because once some of the reefs or corals, they are very fragile. Mm -hmm. So once you touch it, it will get broken. It'll and break. it's, uh, uh, their base is all calcium. Mm -hmm. So we don't touch it. Uh, some of the even uh, people, what they do underwater, like divers, they open up the clams and they will feed the fish. Mm -hmm. Feeding of the fish is wrong procedure mm -hmm. is, uh, and we should not do it. Plus, killing the clams, they are the filters of the sea. Mm -hmm. So also this will uh, damage the environment and the visibility will get very low because mm -hmm. the our filters, natural filter filters are out of number. Mm -hmm. So this is a problem is, yeah. 
Okay, but I think uh, you know people should be aware of the way they should treat at least the the uh, marine life and yeah. the environment. I mean, you are diving. You're there to have a good time. You're there to enjoy yes. the beauty. And it's a, it's a completely different world. It's a yeah. beautiful world down there. Yeah. But uh, I think people should learn more to respect it. Yeah. To respect, stick to rules and regulations. Enjoy it, but from a distance. Yeah, of course. Okay. And I always say, what belongs to sea stays in the sea. That's mm -hmm. true. You don't take it out and you just leave it, even if it's uh, dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what I are we taking a look at here? here? Nice yeah. colors on mm -hmm. that fish. Yeah, th uh, this fish, uh, because of the people, they uh, tend to feed it. So they don't afraid from the divers, and mm -hmm. they come to us, and they want to uh, get feed. So we are uh, destroying the balance of their environment mm -hmm. because Whole they are ecosystem. depending on us uh, on food. feeding uh, yeah. for food. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is another type. The this type they called it the brain uh, corals, mm -hmm. and uh, it has all around it uh, with the small fishes. Very nice, uh, nice clear day for yeah. photography, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I, I took this chance and I took uh, Good luck photos on that as day. much uh -huh. as I could. And what about here? What are we taking a look at hither? Uh, here is actually also another type. It's the usually the same type uh, uh, of fish. We called it the blue one. We called it the Arabian angel fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, there uh, with the good numbers. But unfortunately, we have uh, some of the marine life that uh, decreases, uh, decreasing in numbers such as the turtles, the uh, uh, what, what we call it, uh, cattlefish. Mm. Uh, we don't see dolphins. We don't see them much. Not like before. Not like before because of the, the pollution what we have, uh, the people, how they hunt. And uh, this is, is reducing. Yeah, there the seems to be also a lot of this uh, spearfishing going on, Hiba. Huh? Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, spearfishing, it it's good that you choose your fish, but it's bad because of the people, uh, well they will hit like a game. the corals and mm. they will damage it. Mm -hmm. So we have to, to be careful even while spearfishing. Mm -hmm. yeah.